Oh, dude, I am so bored. Do you want to play some goats or something? Um, you know, I don't have a goat deck, actually. What? I didn't know that. Well, you can use any one of mine, dude, that's play. Now that you mention it, though, zombies would be really cool to build. You know, zombies would be cool. But if it's a goat deck, I would want to max it out, though, naturally. Dark Crisis does have secret vampire lord. And ZD Warrior Lady. You know, Eugene... I'm not the touchy-feely type, but you really have put in a lot of work and, and a lot of time and stuff, and you've come a long way, so I just really, really want to tell you that, um, I'm really surprised you're still a scrub. <laughs> I hate you. players out there that don't know what GOAT format is, I have other videos on the subject, but GOAT format is April 2005 format, and we call it GOAT format based on, you know, GOAT control being the dominant deck at that time back in April 2005, so essentially it's a format where we play old cards and old rules because because we're old. But speaking of being an old person, guys, I was at Walmart getting groceries just like I always do, and I like to look through the Yu-Gi-Oh! section, of course, because, you know, me being a Yu-Gi-Oh! player and stuff, and I also like to see what old, you know, packs and stuff that they get sometimes, because sometimes you'll go over there and they will have, like, I don't know, a uh, Dark Crisis randomly? <laughs> what is this? So like every now and then I'll go over to Walmart and they'll have like Order K or Target or wherever I'm at and you know I'll check out the Yu-Gi-Oh section and they will have like just random old repackaged stuff like out of nowhere just like random stuff. So um, this really obviously caught me off guard because I haven't seen Dark Crisis packs in forever. Okay like I can't tell you the last time I saw just like loose Dark Crisis packs. I mean although these are probably like repackaged from like Legendary Collection or whatever I want to say Legendary Collection Yu-Gi's World. This might be repackaged from that but don't quote me on that. But uh, either way, uh, these are mystery packs that come with Dark Crisis and a bunch of mystery cards, so I can't wait to open these. Uh, but before I do, really quick, guys, I have to give a huge shout-out to all my patrons. You guys are all fantastic and stuff. You guys make random stuff like this possible, you know, to uh, find random packs and what to open them for you guys. And the other shout-out, of course, is to our sponsor, Metamats.com, made by us, designed by you. I'm just waving these around. But if you guys want 10% off of any map from Metamats.com, then enter in the code Eugene versus Jesus, and you will get 10% off of any map that you want. But now, with all that out of the way, guys, uh, let's stop waving these around and actually get to opening these. And then we're going to open up some fan mail. So, just lots of openings today, and I am super excited to get into it. All right, so let's get some stuff on this map, because this map cracks me up too much. Okay, so, um, today we're going to be trying to pull a DD Warrior Ladies, Secrets of Vampire Lords, a Skill Drain, anything GOAT format related from this set, we're going to be trying to pull. Because uh, GOAT format, guys, I mean, if, if you guys do not know, um, it's one of my favorite formats to play ever. It's, it's super, super fun. Um, I don't actively play it all the time, but you know, anytime, you know, in between regionals and stuff like in between rounds, oh my god, I'm playing goats with somebody. Like somebody, I'm, I have found somebody and I'm playing goats with them. Um, or I'm playing 2002 format or something, just like in between rounds. Uh, it's just super fun, super fun. But uh, anyway, so uh, Dark Crisis is a really great set. It comes up, uh, comes uh, with a lot of just really old uh, stuff, you know, for that format. And of course, I just saw these Dark Crisis packs at Walmart. You're like, you're not, not gonna buy Dark Crisis. Like, oh my gosh, that's so bad. So now, with all that being said, let's try to pull some really good goat stuff guys this is good like if we could pull if we could pull secret vampire lord that would be not only the coolest thing in the world but i would be just super happy like i, I would be like so happy with that so um we're also going to get the bonus in the form of like these mystery pack things a matter of fact you know what i'm just going to open all these with scissors really quick but we also get the bonus of not only dark crisis but we also have like all these random cards in here as well so like it completely completely works out so you know what i'm just going to open all these really quick and then uh we'll just open them all in a row all right so we got all of these open and I'm just gonna straight like left to right. I don't know if I screwed up the order or not, but like whatever. <laughs> so from left to right here, um, I guess let's go ahead. You know what? Let's save the Dark Crisis. Let's build up some anticipation, okay? I want to like use. I'm just gonna take all these Dark Crisis packs, put them aside, and let's uh, just open up one stack of this this at a time. Let's see what we get. So we have Scape Ghost. That one I kind of already gave away. Ebot Illusion Magician, Magician's Left Hand, Breakaway, Sub Terra Behemoth of uh, what Phosphor Glacier, whatever that is. Um, Magician's Right Hand, Diamond. Dustin, Kaiser Sea Snake, Lyrilisk, uh, Sapphire Swallow, and then the Phantom Knights of Lost Vambrace. Very, very cool. So, uh, two uh, pretty decent super rares, at least one uh, pretty decent super rare out of that. Like, I forget what Scape Ghost does. Oh, it's a flip. Oh, so it's slow. Uh, probably in a past time it would have been a good card, but not right now. Um, so, Arsenal Bug is the rare, and then <laughs> he bought Illusion Magician. It's a Shining Victory. It's a Shining Victory um, uh, Special Edition. That's why. Uh, that's the that, uh, limited edition. It came in the Shining Victory 
special edition as a limited edition uh, super rare print. That's what I should say. So uh, that would be probably why. So it is repackaged stuff. You know, it's always repackaged stuff. But um, uh, what I'm wondering about these is if these came out of like the legendary collection. Um, I don't think that these are first edition. Yeah, they're not. They don't appear to be first edition. But, but either way, we need to rip through these so we can get to the good stuff. Okay. So Kaiser Sea Snake, uh, the Sub Terror Behemoth, the Magician's Left Hand, uh, Phantasm Spiral Wave, a uh, Flower Cardian, a uh, Peony with Butterfly, a uh, Predaplant Moray, and a Pentus uh, Flower Clardi uh, Cardian Peony with Butterfly again, and then a can Canine Tour. Canine Tour. <laughs> what? Some of these card names, dude. They get just get so ridiculous. Uh, Jane Light Sworn Paladin, White Princess, Yoku Tuner, uh, Machine Angel, Absolute Ritual. Hey, so that summons uh, any Cyber Angel. That's cool. So Sheena Bird Crow, uh, Crowned by the World Chalice, a Treasure Panda. Hey, it's Trash Panda, guys. Uh, Twilight Twin Dragons. Hey, a Rare Mizuki. That's pretty cool. And then an uh, Orbital um, Hydralander. So that is really cool. That were Rare Mizuki. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen a Rare Mizuki, I don't think, in real life. That's crazy. Uh, or it's just it's just not sight. something you don't see very often, at least for me anyways. Uh, Cross uh, Sword Beetle. Uh, Dimension Wanderer. I've never seen that card. Oh, they came out of... Oh, yeah, I remember that now because they came in the same tin as the uh, uh, Volcasaurus, where I got my Volcasaurus. I remember this guy now. So uh, yeah, Dimension Wanderer, Diamond Dustin, a Balbaboon. Hey, that's a good common. A uh, Lyralisk, a Cobalt Sparrow, Dynamis Howling, Canine Tour, Mare Mare, Christron Rosenix, and then a uh, Hungry Burger. <laughs> oh my god. Freaking Hungry Burger. So uh, now, let's, uh, I'll probably rip through like the, the supers and stuff and get those out of there in a second, but I'm trying to get to these. Alright, so Machine King Prototype and <laughs> Magician, magician. Why? There's like three of them. That is not a good sign for the packs, but man, I am, I'm, ho I'm holding out. I'm going to pull a secret vampire lord. I'm holding out, dude. I'm holding out. So a uh, phantasm, a spiral wave, phantom knights of wrong, a uh, magnet ring, um, bug signal, breakaway, mare mare, um, uh, aromas fairy, uh, whatever that is, angelica, a uh, christron, uh, the, I'm not going to pronounce that, and then I gave a critter oxy ox. Okay. So now that those are all gone through and stuff, um, I'll probably get the super rares and out of here in a second, but man, like I said, let's get to these. Let's get to these. Oh my gosh. So left or right, left or right. Always, always left or right. We, although that didn't work out for us uh, just now. <laughs> Three Ebon Illusion Magicians. What's up with that? This is going to be freaking sweet. All right. So Dark Scorpion, Chick the Yellow. We're already getting good goat stuff. So this was a card that, that was played back in the day. Really good card. Chick the Yellow. A contract with the Dark Master. Shadow Knight, Archfiend, Checkmate, Guardian Bow. Wow. This card takes me back. I haven't seen seen that in a minute that is crazy rare guardian bow um then um bow bow i've never i think it's bow but i'm not sure how to pronounce it um mustering of the dark scorpions neen nin dog zolga and then a final attack order so that was pretty sweet good good like really nostalgic rare to pull for me at that first one because i've always liked dark fiends and i've always liked this guy a lot like he was cool not, not the best card ever but still a really cool looking card i always thought he looked awesome um so shooting star bow seal um really and really eternal rest hey another chick the yellow a contract with the dark master archfiend soldier hey uh, this is a uh, 1900 so this is one of the first um 1900 attack beaters seriously it's one of the first ones out there i don't remember what the first one was. oh yeah i do remember what the first one was it was a uh, gemini elf right yeah it's gemini elf so this is one of the early ones uh to go along with that uh, you know a 1900 beater but um yeah um because 1900 beater uh, was a big deal because if you guys would recall you know in the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, for the tcg anyways la jin was 1800 and he was the the biggest baddest dude around upside summon skull you know be at a tribute for him but um anyways so a uh, dice re-roll uh zolga um ajama green and then fairy of the spring so that wraps up that pack very very cool guys i need to find more of these old packs because i love opening these like these are so freaking cool and um i really would like to get some like first dead ones and stuff because that would be amazing to open just old, open old stuff not not all the time but you know just stuff like this like sometimes but um shinado's arc Ojama Trio, hey, that's a good common. That's actually a really good common. Um, it depends on the format and stuff, but yeah, it's just a good common to have around. Um, Cestus of uh, Dagla, Hey, good stuff. Iron uh, Blacksmith of Kotetsu. Uh, this guy's used in um, a Benkai OTK. And then, hey, this was actually, guys, ooh, if I remember, this was actually a short print in Dark Crisis too. this rare. And I think great, uh, the regular Maju Guards that was a short print in that set too, if I, if I recall, yeah. So that's really cool. That's actually really cool that we pulled this. Great Maju Garza rare. That is insane. A uh, Guardian Elma, Neen Nin Dog, a deal with Dark Ruler, um, Arsenal Robber. Very sweet. All right, so last two packs, last two packs. 
Hopefully we get that uh, secret rare vampire lord because that would be sweet. A uh, guardian chaest Kelbeck Arsenal Summoner Berserk Dragon <laughs> We got a super out of this. That is so freaking cool. And Berserk Dragon's awesome, guys. Like, this card is so freaking cool. There was one deck I was messing around with for a little bit that played a deal with the Dark Ruler. This, trade in uh, some Monarch cards and some other stuff. The deck didn't really work all that well, but I was messing with it for a minute. It was just kind of like this cool idea I had. But yeah, Berserk Dragon, that is, that is way sick. You know what? I'm going to find a sleep for that because that is... Way cool. This is a magic sleeve, but I'll work just to what this what was around me. But yeah, so dark, uh, dark bishop archfiend. That is freaking sweet. A little wing guard, a morale boost, and then incandescent ordeal. You know, I don't know why I'm so like fascinated with this right now, but I'm like totally fascinated with this. I mean, I know this is like not you know an original. I don't. I mean, this. I'm pretty sure this isn't like you know an original original print. I'm pretty sure this is like a legendary collection uh, repackage or whatever. Like I was saying earlier, but this is still just so awesome. Pulling like these old nostalgic cards. Is amazing that's why i like uh, opening this old pack so much it's like i mean it's the whole reason why you open old packs is to pull like nostalgic stuff that's like what that's the whole point you know what i mean it's so freaking fun but uh, anyways anyway so let's get into this last pack last pack all right so we have token thanksgiving uh keldo Drag down into the grave. All right, all right. That's a pretty good common to have around. A uh, rod of silence, KS, and then guardian tries. No, so no foil, but still really cool, really cool. Battle scarred, falling down. Hey, that's really good in Archfiends, and Archfiend stuff's always really cool looking. Uh, dice reroll, and then Suzuki Samurai number two. Wow, so. Blast from the past, guys. Blast from the past, for sure. All right, so for the recap, there's other good commons in here, like Hungry Burger, of course, but uh, for goat cards and generic cards that we pulled out of this, um, we got uh, two Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellows, which is pretty cool. Um, Iron Smith uh, Kotetsu. So uh, this one is really, really good. Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu is really good, and Binkai OTK. Um, I sniped this out because this goes with our Berserk Dragon we pulled. We pulled a Drag Down Into the Grave, really good in Dark Worlds, and it's just a generic, um, you know, random common to have around. Machine Angel, absolutely ritual um another like generic ish card because you know it's a generic uh, ritual spell that summons any um you know cyber angel uh bubba boon because it's just a really good comment and then treasure panda because when you open up these packs guys you gotta take everything that you can get and what, what you usually get is better commons than you do foils for whatever reason i don't know why that is oh i guess so that you, you buy more packs and they make more money duh but <laughs> that's the whole point but for the rares guys we have a uh, arsenal bug jane a light sworn paladin mizuki which is pretty cool cross sword beetle a uh, machine a uh, king prototype Guardian Trice, uh, Dark Bishop, Archfiend, Great Maju Garzet, which is also really cool. Archfiend Soldier, which is another really cool one. I don't even care. Uh, Guardian Bow, which is another one that's just really cool looking and, uh, you know, really nostalgic for me, actually, because I kept, I remember trying to keep doing things with this card, like, when I was a kid, but, like, nothing ever worked, right? <laughs> you know? But, um, so, Ebon Illusion Magician, I don't know why we got three of them, but we got three of them, boys. <laughs> got three of them. So, three of those. Uh, Scapegoats, uh, Dimension Wanderer, and I called the biggest win out of this, of course, the super rare berserk dragon which is just way killer looking it's one of the more badass looking of all the dragons i don't care what you say it's just a freaking sweet looking dragon that's like saying chaos emperor dragon doesn't look cool it's freaking amazing it's chaos emperor dragon but anyways guys thank you so much for watching i'm sorry i didn't pull like mega broken for you guys i'm so sorry i tried i tried uh, sometimes my powers get a little rusty but uh, i'll work on it i'll work on it but uh, while i'm working on it until next time guys um let's go ahead and get it in some fan mail this one is from alec mendoza again being resistance member oh my god dude what why what, what, do you, what do you want about this time oh my gosh dude you said you said like the thickest envelopes too like freaking thick boys oh my gosh so there's there's this return envelope let's see what my so that's i figured it was the same guy uh hey you you know i lost track uh, what number of fan mail this is I've sent, but I'd like to say thank you for signing my Odd Eyes and Perform Pal cards. That meant so much to me because uh, you are uh, one of the Yugi tubers I enjoy watching on my free time. Overall, you bring good vibes and I love what you do. Please keep up the good work. Uh, anyways, I've sent you cards to keep and a paper mat for your collection. Thank you very much. Um, also, when you can, uh, when you can, it would be awesome if you could sign the cards I've also sent. No problem. And I think I've doomed us all. I didn't think a uh, multiply uh, would happen 
have an effect on Jerry Beans, man. And, and now they're loose. I've sent you resistance monsters for you. Uh, I sent you uh, resistant monsters for you. Um, please, uh, for you, something uh, once they reach you, uh, something reach you. Oh no, uh, they found me. They're breaking down the, the pan. You guys really need to type your stuff if you guys are going to be super dramatic because it screws me up. Like, I'm trying to read the super dramatic stuff, but you guys' handwriting is really bad and I can't read it. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, I'm, trying, I'm trying so hard not to mess up like reading this dramatic stuff, but like I really can't read it. Uh, this is my message in case they uh, reach you. I hope the monsters have stuff. I'm such a way could be of you. So God, <laughs> they got in. Beans, beans, oh no. <laughs> the beans got him, guys. <laughs> the beans got him. Oh no. Oh no, man. Well, um, I, luckily I have done a video. Uh, I have an instructional video on how to get rid of beans, okay? And the instructions are very simple, okay? First, uh, first off, you have to break the circuit, which I already broke the circuit, so that, that part's done for you, so don't worry about that part. I already took care of that part for you. The circuit is broken, okay? But um, you still have to get a larvae moth binder, challenge the Jerry Beans King, and, you know, absorb him in your larvae moth binder. So, good luck with that. <laughs> but... <laughs> God, like, I'm sorry, I cracked myself up. I think I cracked myself up more than any other Yugi YouTuber too, I swear. But like, thank you so much. This was a freaking cool one. I like this one a lot. The pendulum. I need to play DDDs, man. They're like so close to being good, and I freaking love the way they look. Uh, cards to keep. What, what, what is this? Uh, let's see what, what what this even is. So these, this is taped pretty well. So uh, are we are we goat worthy? Hey, this is pretty sweet, Mystic Shell Dragon Mater to Bug. Hey, Xerian Universe. Um, Jerry Beans Resistance Fighters. Hey. Hey, the Karibos, hey, that's good. The Karibos are the resistance fighters. I can see that, that's good. <laughs> I can, that's pretty That's pretty funny. Dude, that's epic as hell. Thank you so much for the Xerian, by the way. You know what, dude, I should just start an Xerian universe binder. That way, like, every person, like, like out of all the people I, you know, I play in goats, you know what I mean? There's always one person that's like, Xerian is a goat. Oh my gosh, I need to just, like, have a goat, uh, an Xerian universe goat binder so I could just hit him in the head with it. <laughs> I can be like, look, no one can. Okay, it's a dead format. Oh my gosh, and I, I hope that I want to give this binder like when I hit them in the head I will also want this binder to have the ability to get them a girlfriend when I do it So they won't continue to act that way <laughs> Oh my gosh, let's see. Let's see what this what this one is. Please sign. Please sign So let's see what we have to sign. Oh, dude, am I signing the rest of it? Dude, odd eyes Yes, I'm signing. I think I'm signing the rest of his deck. This is freaking sweet dual tainting on a play set of Odd Eyes Fusion, Smile Universe, Super Hippo Carnival, Carnival um, Odd Eyes of, of Venom Dragon, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, sweet stuff, dude. And Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon, which I still love. I still have a soft spot for that card. Dude, thank you so much for writing. Thank you so much for the cards and the mat and everything. As always, you are freaking fantastic. Thank you so much for writing again. Subscribe! <laughs>